That was loud. What's up, guys? Kevin Cheese Puff here, and welcome to Paranormal Entities. Let's see. You are Cliff, a college student who is a brand new freelance cameraman for a show, Paranormal Entities. The number two rated ghost investigation show on the Hunting and Outdoors Cable Network. You have been hired to inspect the St. Augustine Asylum for the mentally ill. You will go into this facility, follow the producer's instructions through a radio earpiece, keep your camera on, and try to make contact with the spirits inside. If nothing happens, you will get $500 for your time. If you manage to get something amazing, or get some amazing footage of real paranormal activity on your camera, it cut off. Hold on. I have it right here. If you manage to get some amazing footage of real paranormal activity on your camera, you will get an additional $2,500 bonus. Are you ready to be part of Paranormal Entities history? I guess we are. Let's start. This game, well, you probably saw on there, this game literally came out two hours ago. I just caught it. Is it about to crash? Wait. Okay, All now. Right, Clint, uh, Cliff, 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 welcome to the St. Augustine's Asylum for you the You don't give a shit about me. Producer Tom me. said good things about you. In your backpack is a flashlight, a voice recorder, an EMF, and a couple of little fun occult things. We'll let you know when to take those out. Ready to pay off some of those college debts and beer tabs? Well, of course you are. And when you're ready, enter in through those front doors. Are these the front doors? Oh. Directory. Okay. I don't think we'll need that. Nice, the door was unlocked. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. So here's the story behind the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. It was founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, this place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in That's here. That's a lot. The place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and hope they disappeared. <laughs> Locked. Locked. Well, where am I supposed to go? If this place is, like, abandoned, like, I don't think anybody would care if I just, you know, kick the door down or anything like that. This is where the hundred hallways patients would convene, and we heard that the patients pre-1920 actually received decent care. Then the war hit, the depression hit, and then the budgets all fell apart. The room you stand in once healed 20 patients in need of attention, and by the end, 150 patients would pass through this room, naked, starving, attacking each other at random, slaying themselves with metal wires from their beds. Be careful where you step. <laughs> so it became less of a mental hospital and just more of a, I guess, prison yard? Alright, this is a good place to start. I want you to take out your voice recorder and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Okay, spirits of St. Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything or speak to us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Anything? Okay, play that back. Let us know that you're here. Okay, just move six feet over here and try right, again, right, and try maybe it. magically it will work. St. Augustine, please let us know that you are still in this hospital. I give you permission to reveal yourself. I give you permission to come to life. Just give us a sign that you are here. Tell us where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. All right, check that into this microphone. Alright, let's try one more spot. Over here instead. Made by all the tossed furniture. a little bit more energy. <sighs> Ghosts of St. Augustine, you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Show up or piss off. 
Okay, that made me jump a little bit. It didn't get me that badly. It was just a little bit. Oh, did you hear that? Did you... Play that back. Play that back. Pricks, show up or piss off. Oh, uh, is that me crying oh, or is that a ghost? Oh, 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 oh. All right, all right. We, looks like we got an investigation. All right, I want you to go down the morgue hallway, and we're gonna continue our investigation in the other gathering area. That sounds like a horrible idea, honestly. Like after this, it's obviously they they're aggressive. I don't know about you, but if I, you know, was like a kind of a ghost hunter. And the ghost immediately started showing aggression, like first interaction, just straight aggression. I would probably just get the hell out of here. Okay, of the four areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract, the e-social area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who are deemed a danger to society would convene. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. So walk Great. into the center and we will begin. This is the entrance to patient cells 200 through 219. Eh, we're talking extreme bipolarism, schizophrenia, dementia. Not necessarily dangerous, but it could be a challenge for society. Dang, the door's locked. That sucks. Let's try this door then. What the hell are we supposed to do then if it's locked? This is the entrance to the patient cells 220 to 240. This is where they kept the lunatics, the murderers, the sociopaths. The worst of the worst, including Clive the Peeper Johnson. I don't He'd know who that is. He was a pervert with a nickname, the Peeper, but the truth is far worse. He was extremely manipulative and very intelligent. He was a murderer and a maimer. Most of his victims could never identify him because he managed to convince them to gouge their own eyes out with metal wires and even their own fingernails. He came here due to legal loopholes, and when the facility went off the rails and the doctor stopped caring, he jumped into action. The patients who didn't listen were tortured, and the ones who did wandered around the facility, blind, screaming, and in constant fear. This door's locked, too. Let's just start the ceremony. Okay. Spirits oh, fuck off. Inside. No, we don't do that. We know that you're here. We release you from your restraints. Come forward and live again. This person is no longer shielded from the realm of the dead. You may be seen, interact, and manipulate him in any way as you see fit. Lovely. Was this part of my contract? <laughs> Don't just stand there. Go, go check it out. Check what out? Isn't this the way we came? The music changed, that means uh, something's wrong. Oh, they're- Oh, it's the cells. Hunt. Don't do that. Uh-oh. One of them opened. Is it gonna lock me inside? Is it gonna lock me inside? Jesus Christ, where was it? Oh my god. <laughs> Uh-oh, another one open. These boxes gonna fly? Or if I, am I gonna turn around and get jump scared? No? This one's just nothing? Okay, I guess you can't throw all the jump scares at me at the same time. Then I just get used to it, huh? My game just freeze. And I clicked off the screen. This one opens too. What about this one? Oh no, a crippled, what, uh, you know, we'll pretend that didn't happen. A crippled ghost. <laughs> nope. Yes. No. Oh, hello. I found you. How you doing today, ma'am? Can I, uh, help you with something? Die. Die. No eyes. See peeper peepers get out run Yeah just uh Get the hell out of there just just go to the front door and get out Okay 
I guess our investigation is concluded. Oh yeah, that's the good shit right there. That's what I want to hear in a mental asylum. All right, get out of this hallway and then take a take your second right. Second right. Okay, that one. Am I gonna get killed as soon as I get to the front door? Okay, there's a there's a staircase. Take the staircase up the second floor, and you should be next to a fire escape. You should be able to get out that way. So so go up the staircase. I would assume that it's the one single door. Correct. Okay, well, it seems to have calmed down a little bit, so I guess all the activity is only on the first floor. Now what the hell do I do? Is there a downstairs, too? Crap. Uh, okay, we need to... Let's go get something to pry this door open. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something downstairs we could probably use. Downstairs. Hold on, hold on. That staircase wasn't there before. This place doesn't even have a basement. What the... What, what is going on? Is that part of All the right, game, or is that just a texture glitch? I'm not gonna I don't ask think questions. You got any other choice? I think you gotta make your way downstairs. Was oh, this like that fucking SCP game where you just keep going down the stairs over and over and over again, it's just endless? Interesting. Are the candles gonna light? Are they? They're gonna blow out like the whenever I get close to the door, huh? Or not? Okay, that would have been kind of spooky. Should I be trying all these doors as well? Is this a slaughterhouse? Do you need some help in there, sir? Or madam? Or other? Nothing. Well, I guess it's just the one at the end then. Is this my stop? Just kind of keeps on going, all right. Should I even like waste my time checking these ones or should I just go straight for the end? Uh-oh. Well, now what? Go back, I guess? Is it different now? I can't run. So I can only assume that I won't have to run away from anything. Or maybe it's just not letting me run until I have to run away from something. Doesn't want to give it away. This one opens. Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> it's like such basic like scares. It's not like super detailed that's just kind of like i don't know it's perfect it gets you i will say i've definitely got less resistant to horror games and i don't really know why it just seems that like back whenever i used to play them like you know i took a pretty long break from youtube where i was only making videos like maybe once a month if that so i wasn't really playing any horror games but I, like on my own i would only play whenever i recorded so I think that just kind of like, oh, nice. I think that kind of messed it up for me. Oh, blood, lovely. Other, well, there's an invisible door there. That's fine. Hello. Oh my god. I knew it was gonna happen. Why the hell did it scare me? Oh, we teleported. Okay. Now we're the insane one. Alright, confession time. Uh, it's about the eyes. I kinda hid this from you. There's an urban legend, and, and I, I repeat, it's an urban legend about the peeper Clive Johnson. You see, the there was a patient who suffered from dementia and swore that... Clive was more than just a mere man, and uh, he would kind of haunt this patient all throughout the day. You know, rampant hallucinations that progressively got worse, but at night, he never saw the peeper. Then he discovered that if he closed his eyes, he could escape Clive. But whenever he opened them, Clive would be there, waiting for him and getting closer and closer. 
Eventually, the patient used a fork, and he blinded himself. And while he was soaked in his blood from his sockets, he screamed to the entire hospital that he was free. He was safe. And a week later, two more patients charged Clive with stalking them, even though he was confined to solitary. I mean, it's crazy. They, they took their eyesights, too. His pattern didn't stop. I thought it was BS, but based on what we've seen tonight, I don't pretty much believe anything. So, try to get the hell out of there, and if it gets too intense, try to shut your eyes. Do I have a shut my eye option? Oh, I can't crouch at C. Still can't run, though. That's fine. Okay, let's go. Oh, this is unlocked now. Damn Lovely. flashlight broke. I can't use that anymore. No, thank you. Wait a minute. I think it's feet are on backwards. Maybe that's just me. Unless it's just laying face down. Which I don't really think it's got tits on its back, so... Come closer. You do, huh? Run where? I can't run. You never gave me a run button. Interesting. Lovely. I just get the feeling that there isn't actually anything behind me. What is this? Oh crap. Uh, you got a choice. Either he gets you, or you're you're gonna have to cut him out. I'm good. I let him come get me. Cool chef hat on. Was I eating? Crap. I can't believe it. That was the most disturbing, terrifying, and greatest paranormal footage that has ever been taken in the history of television. Oh my god, Tom. We're going to win an Emmy. We might be on talk shows, paranormal entities, movies, spin-offs, freaking coffee mugs, and kid shows. Holy crap. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Him? Him? <laughs> I'm not going in there. Are you going to go in there? I'm not going in there. Hell no, 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 no. I mean, we don't even know where he is in that hospital. The camera's black. He's not responding. I don't see anything. Do you? No. No, no. We're getting out of here. And, uh, nice. Anyways, another crazy thing about this, he needs to collect his money, too. And I don't think he's going to be coming here anytime soon. So, so we, we basically got all this footage for free, dude. Let's just start the van up. Let's get the hell on out of here. We've been in here for, I don't know, a couple hours, just a little bit too long. I'm a little sore. I need to stretch out. And my very wealthy friend, you, are starting to stink. All right, I'm going to do it. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did, did, did you hear that? Did you, did you hear that? Shh, listen, listen. Taste of your own fucking medicine. A little closer. That, that was outside the truck. That was outside the truck, right? So, listen. Shh. I see you now. Paranormal entities. <sighs> Thanks for playing. Please leave a review on the page to let me know your thoughts about the game. My name is AI Heck, and I made this game 10 days for the Scream Jam 2020 events. My friend John and I founded GameDevHQ.com. We believe game development is an amazing skill and a great. Oh, well, I. You'll just have to read that one on your own. Well, I would say it was good. Because it scared the shit out of me. 
because even though like the the jump scares were kind of crude, they scared the shit out of me. So I'd say that they they did their job, and it will probably do their job if you play it yourself too, and it's free. So I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to play it for yourself. I think that's it. See you later.